let's just jump straight in, y'all. Let's get to talking about the Super Bowl halftime show 2022. Let's just say it blew our minds. It was one of the best shows ever. We had 50 Cent jumping out with a surprise performance. His coming out definitely blew our minds. It was a total shocker. Nobody expected that. I mean, he got out there with his female dances. He did his thing. Look at the lineup. I mean, it was phenomenal. Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Dr. Dre. I mean, they just really gave us one hell of a show. This is definitely going to be the most talked about Super Bowl halftime show in a while. Look at Mary J. She popped out there. She did her thing. I mean, she's always been the queen of hip hop. So always been, you know, noticed and had the notoriety. But it definitely went and was taken to another level after this show. But what a surge of star power that spanned generations. Sunday night's Super Bowl halftime show delivered super numbers. Viewership rose over last year's numbers for the program featuring a who's who of rap and hip-hop legends. According to the Samba TV, which has an addressable footprint of 46 million opted-in devices in the United States, 29 million U.S. households watched the halftime show. That was an enormous jump of 19% over last year when the weekend served as the headliner. It's just amazing to me at how much this halftime show for 2022 was much more anticipated and much more people were much more into it than they were the previous halftime shows now don't get me wrong we've had some halftime shows that were very interesting in the past for example justin and janet how can anybody ever forget about that i mean that was probably the last halftime show before this one that was the most talked about and then we had prince he definitely gave one hell of a performance. I mean, his halftime performance will definitely go down in Super Bowl halftime history. I mean, one of the best shows ever. But as of right now, Mary J, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, 50, 50 Cent with the surprise performance. I mean, this one for 2022, more people were watching, more people were into it, more people were anticipating it. They really did do a very good job of advertising this. I mean, they let us know, I would say as much as four to six months ago, that this is who we were going to have in the lineup. And a lot of people love these celebrities. Snoop Dogg, Mary J, Dr. Dre, 50, 50 definitely got his thing going on with power. Everybody loves him because of power. Everybody loves him for producing power. So with him coming out, people didn't know that he was coming out. It was a surprise, but that just made it even better. So, yeah, we've had one of the best halftime shows. This, this is definitely going to go down in the books and go down in history as one of the best. The NBC Network, which aired the big game, got some added value from popularity of the Super Bowl's halftime show for 2022. The halftime hype drew in millions of new viewers who came to watch the performances, but who also stayed for the second half. The number of households who started watching during the halftime show and stayed for the second half of the kickoff were up 41% year over year. No matter how you look at it, halftime show scored big for the NFL. And it did. The halftime show made a big, big difference. The halftime show has proven incredibly popular online as well. The nearly 15 minute video of the event had been viewed more than 20.6 million times on YouTube by midday on Monday, generating more than 75,000 comments. It also trended all over social media where annually people debate what the best halftime show ever is. NBC hyped this one up such as before it aired. If you go by viewership, the games that have the highest viewership often spark the biggest halftime crowds. The 2015 show with Katy Perry and the 2017 show with Lady Gaga generated two of the biggest crowds ever. The goodwill of a great Super Bowl halftime performance can carry over from ratings to album sales. Many artists see a massive bump in sales after participating in the show and Miss Mary J. Blige could benefit a good deal as she currently has a single out. So this is definitely gonna boost her album up even more. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mary J. can, she can do record sales even without the Super Bowl halftime show, but it's definitely going to make it soar even more. It's definitely gonna get out there. It's, it's I mean, people are gonna wanna download her shit after such a wonderful yet phenomenal performance. But you guys, that's my time for this video. I'm definitely going to come back with a few more videos with the Super Bowl halftime show talk. 
I mean, there's other things I want to cover. I do want to talk about this because it was, I mean, it's something to talk about. It's definitely something to vlog about. And I mean, it's trending right now. Mary J is particularly trending right now. They all are, but Mary J is particularly trending right now. And I do want to come back with a few more videos and talk about her. You got good talk, though. You guys, um, hit me up, subscribe, check me out, look for my next videos. Peace, all good and love. Have a good day.